I'm Clara. Today we will introduce the cutting of counter board by Faber Laser Cutting Machines. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and I will not let you down. Three shorts and one video for each week. You can always get what you want here. My Alibaba shop is down in the description. Go there and check what you need. Let's go ahead. We need to understand what is the counter board is. As you can see, I have a screw nut here. If we just get a hole, I put the nut in. The top head of the nut will definitely out of the flat surface. But if we can get the top head sinking to the same level as the outer surface, the knot hole where the knot head is not higher than the surrounding surface is called a counter bore. We can see some samples over here. The use of the counter bore can avoid the protrusion of the screw and ensure the flatness of the installation plane, which is common in the field of machinery manufacturing and construction. Traditional ways to process counter bore include drill cutting and punching. Drill cutting requires experienced manual counter sinking drilling, and counter sinking on the basis of flat bottomed is required for taper counter sinking. Punching is to apply molds to general punching or CNC punching machines to counter sink sheet metal parts. Traditional methods generally require at least two or more steps to complete the machining of the counter bore. Can the fiber laser carding machine complete the processing of counter bore? Does it also require many steps to complete? Let's first take a look at a video, which is the practical operation of fiber laser carding counter bores. We can see that in almost one second, the machining of one counter bore has been completed, and the machine in the video doesn't use a multi axis frame because the cutting head is always at a vertical angle. So, how is the cutting formed? Let us first understand the cutting steps and the siding of cutting parameters. For example, if we want to cut the counter bore now, we first need to design the joinings through measurement. After the joints, we need to set the parameters layer by layer. First of all, the center hole, that is the circle we marked as 1, we can set the appropriate parameters according to the thickness of the plate and the configuration of the machine. Next set the cutting parameters of the bevel, that is the circle marked 2. The three parameters we need to pay special attention to are pressure, focus, and height. We need to increase those three parameters rationally, such as the height to 35mm and the focus to 10. The purpose of this is to make the laser spot on the plate larger so as to achieve the completion of the bevel cutting. If after the first test cutting is found that the slope of the bevel is not very satisfactory, we need to carry out continuous testing by adjusting the cutting head. In fact, the technology here is to use the characteristics of a high energy density of the laser which can quickly melt the material and then quickly blow the melted material away from the plate through the high pressure airflow so as to realize the processing of counter bore. Does that mean that all fiber laser cutting machines have the possibility of cutting counter bore? The answer is negative. First, the cutting of the counter bore is generally done on a plate of at least 10 mm or more, so the power of the machine is still required. From the experience of our customers, it's generally above 6000 watts. Secondly, the software configuration is also very important. 
from our experience, at least the system above SEPCAD 6000 can support the cutting of counter bore. If it's a 2000 system, the adjustment range of the nozzle height is not enough to support the cutting head of the complete bevel. But if your favorite laser cutting machine is a multi-dimensional 5X machine, the above restrictions are not suitable. Finally, let's take a look at the HEPCAD software, that is the SEPCAD 8000 system, the support for the counter bore function and the more related possibilities. HEPCAD can automatically generate processing drawings according to the type of counter bore without setting up additional processes, which will make the operation easier and more efficient. Moreover, the standard size of the various counter bores are ready made, and there's no need to modify the sizes. In addition, HEPCAD also supports beveling before tapping, which is convenient for the type to enter the inner hole and can also effectively prevent burrs from protruding from the board surface and reduce subsequent processing procedures. Through the realization of counter bore processing function, the application scenarios of sheet fiber laser cutting machine can be effectively broadened. The use range of sheet fiber laser cutting machine can be improved, and the special bevel cutting machine and three dimension five axis machine can be replaced to a certain extent, reducing the input cost and the processing efficiency is improved. That's our today's content. Please do remember to leave your comment below because I'm doing short videos to reply the comments. Please do me a favor to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. If you still have the time, stick around and check another video. See you next Tuesday. Bye!